The Million Dollar One Person Business is a quick and easy read, perfect for those who can't stand slaving away at a nine to five for a company or product that you just don't care about. If you're looking for financial or personal freedom, you have debts weighing you down, or you want to be set up in comfort for when you retire, then this book is a good place to start. Hello everyone, I'm Lindsay from Be Primo, and today I'm reviewing The Million Dollar One Person Business by Elaine Pofeld. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more book reviews, self-improvement, and relationship advice. One person or lean businesses have been growing dramatically in the United States over the past few years. From 2011 to 2015, non-employer firms or one person firms with at least 1 million in yearly revenue grew by 33%. In 2015, there were over a million lean businesses bringing in at least $100,000. Thanks to the internet and many other management tools, it's easier than ever to start your own business, even if you don't have that much money to begin with. First, you want to identify the high revenue one person business that is best suited to your interests, skills, and experience. Poe felt marked six categories that most of these million dollar businesses fall into. E-commerce, manufacturing, informational content creation, professional services and creative businesses, personal services, and real estate. If you're starting a business of your own, all of the entrepreneurs she talks to says that it has to be something you are deeply interested and passionate about. Otherwise, it's too easy to give up when things get tough. So spend some time thinking, what is something that you would be excited to think about and work on every day? Second, she explains how you can launch your business successfully no matter how little startup money you have. You can quit your job and go full-time, investing everything you've got into your business. You can hold a job for the stability while you work on your business on the side, or you can find investors from venture capitalists or crowdfunding, for example, Kickstarter. Whatever you decide is right for you, Pofelt recommends taking advantage of free or low-cost tools such as Streak, Google Analytics, and cheap web hosts for your website. She also emphasizes that it's better to grow slowly, experimenting and figuring out what works and what doesn't, rather than spending all of your money on inventory, advertising, etc., only to find out after that your idea completely flops. You're looking for stability and continued success, not stressing every month whether or not you'll be able to pay the bills. Third, how can you keep your business running in a way that allows you to enjoy your life outside of work and actually work less than if you were to hold a regular nine to five job? When you first start out, you'll likely do most of the work by yourself or with very little help. However, as you grow, you'll discover you can't do everything by yourself. As Pofelt puts it, growing in a high revenue one person business is not about chaining yourself to a laptop for 20 hours a day while you live on ultra caffeinated energy drinks. It's about working smart and strategically. Your time will become increasingly valuable and you'll need it to focus on the big picture and overall strategy of your business. Therefore, avoid any unimportant activities that waste your time and energy. In order to keep growing and retain your sanity, most one-person businesses either hire contractors, automate a large portion of the work, hire employees, or a combination of the three. One example of this is Matt Friel, who started a small business selling classic video games online. As his business grew more and more successful, he found himself spending more and more time looking for more inventory to sell. He would spend 10 to 12 hours a day just driving around to different stores. There was no way he could continue in that fashion and scale successfully. You will need to learn how to eliminate, automate, delegate, and procrastinate. This means continually looking for new ways to avoid doing things that don't matter. You should ask yourself, what can I eliminate? What can I outsource or delegate to somebody else? What can I put on the back burner? What can I say no to? The key here is to be honest and disciplined about your answers and how you spend your time. Matt solved his scaling problem by buying video games in bulk from distributors and switching to an e-commerce site that would help handle his packaging and shipping for him. That freed up a huge chunk of his time. He and many other entrepreneurs are able to set up their businesses so they only have to work 15 to 20 hours a week or go on vacation for a month and continue to make money while they're gone. Finally, even though the book is titled The $1 Million One Person Business, 
it's important to recognize that you can't do it completely on your own. Like I said before, at some point you will need help, whether it's through the support of friends and family, hiring contractors, employees, or teaming up with another business. As one entrepreneur put it, you need a team to accomplish your dream. If your dream does not have a team, it's not big enough. Create a community of bright individuals who will work with you to accomplish your goals and generate success for everyone involved. This will help you bounce ideas off one another, stay motivated, flexible in a changing environment, and achieve far more together than you could alone. Thanks for listening. We have a link in the description below where you can buy and read the whole book for the rest of her advice and different types of successful businesses people have created. Remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you'd like to start your own business. What category would it fall in? Until next time, remember to be primo.